Give me a last sealed member for Ivan. Ivan? Tricky act to get a lot out of. Thanks for the 32 months rational as pie. Yoshi, Halu, he goes to Valve. Hey, Blazar, hey, Butlo, hey, I don't like changing. I'm Gutsa, hey, Astrob, hey, Vergat. I'm Gutsa, thanks for the nine months. Nina Soria, thanks for the six months. So much HP on this jawworm. What makes you more gold, Hand of Greed or Membership Card? Maybe I just want a Membership Card, or sorry, maybe I just want a Hand of Greed regardless. No, 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 thanks for the four months. That is exciting. Is it Slime Boss? No. Probably take the one that makes me stronger now. I don't know where the day went. What's up with that? Where'd the day go? I don't really know. Hand agreed already paid for itself. Fall lightning. Is that enough? I want to go this way. Liquid bronze is not the best potion. I think we give it a shot though. Seem like a membership card doesn't kill lice. I imagine the lice fight wouldn't have been too bad, regardless. I don't feel like that one was the thing we were going to struggle with. I could take Claw for a Hexagos deck. I have a Liquid Bronze, I guess. For Cleverness, thanks for the 52 months. Jesus, fuck. That's a bad turn. I like another ball lightning might be one too many. I could just take an FDL here, maybe. I don't actually know. I am not sure if that's right or not. Hey, I am Urk. How was your Slay the Spire board game? The Slay the Spire board game is good, in my opinion. Do this so the double dual cast next turn evokes Frost Orb. Well,
surprisingly faithful to the video game. It is quite good. I am a fan of it. Alright, hopefully we hand a grid here, and then I'd say one damage Lagavulin fight where we got off hand of greed. And we got a bias cog. Seems good. And anchor is a perfectly cromulent relic. I don't actually know what cromulent means, but I th I think I think that was an okay use of cromulent. Oof, I'm sorry to hear that smurf. Sounds non-ideal. Okay, hand yeah, upgrade. What did I do to upside? Reach and potion's excellent. Skim? I need to take skim there. Nice silken sword. Tell this turn, please. Please. That is unlucky. Oh. What can I do? I think I just lost the super elite fight, unfortunately. Seem kind of bad. Black Lamer, thanks for 23 months. Appreciate it. Does this deck want an Art of War? Has FTL? I guess we take it. I would prefer not to die. But in terms of the rewards, I would like to go Holy Fight. And then after Holy Fight, I'd really like to go this way. But that's like, that's a bit much, probably. We know it's not Gremlin up, but max HP sentries are pretty bad, too. I should be Lagavulin with 16 HP with this duck. You don't even have 9,000 hours of being alive. Really puts it in perspective, doesn't it? I think I meant to rust, too. It was going so well, and then Blue Candle and Art of War showed up. And we didn't draw our attacks on turn three of the Gremlin up fight. Rough. Most cards are good, right? And transform a strength. Oh? <laughs> oh? Okay, now I am not as convinced that I need to rust. Hadral thinks for 13 months. Nuclear Wasted thinks for 45 months.
9,000 hours, kind of a lot. Kind of. Not a small amount. So I do want to play Hand of Greed and I want to play Self Repair. I didn't draw either. It's okay. I don't hate how I played it. Do I like Force Field enough to take it here? I actually might. Okay. We should get a Hand of Greeds. No problem. Don't get a countdown to 9,000. Oh, this came back. Rebound with Hand of Greed. Uh, it's based on my, like, Steam numbers. So I don't actually... Can I do that? Right now it says 8995.4. So 4.6 hours. They're so angry. Do I feel like I'm anywhere close to having a Master of the Skull? I think Malcolm Gladwell just kind of makes shit up. I think that's the main thing I would say about that. Alright. We're healing through hard hallway fights. How's a storm here? I have anchor. I do have anchor, actually. I have the force field. And I have a bias cog. I think it's a good storm. I want to use liquid bronze against hexaghost, probably. I could almost simulate this fight. Rebound's gonna be hard for the simulator to understand. But this, this, this. I think I don't have enough focus, probably. To not drink liquid bronze, I mean. Music seems the same volume as Jorbs. <sighs> Maybe it's just a loud track. Thank you. 
I'm probably already done to play Biascog. My bad. My bad. It works out okay, though. Happy Vegeta Spire Day. Thank you, Squabble. This. We don't really want the overcharge to happen. It's okay to pay nine there. Maybe I could have saved some health. It's okay. I have a self repair. Electrodynamics. That seems very good with a bottled storm and a biased conch. I don't think I want Snack Alive. Zap Chill FTL. It's not as bad as it could be here. It just kind of limits my wins. Although I already have Biased Cog. I can get by with just a Sacred Bark. Beep, beep, yeah! I'm not excited about Sacred Bark, but it seemed better than the other two, which seemed borderline actively detrimental. Buster Crown was actively detrimental. I don't know about Snack going. It just limits what card rewards when made the run, I think. I always thought Strange Bark was a... Sacred Bark was a strange toenail. That feels kind of gross. Oh, this box for 24. Weird. Does that mean I don't use it? Or that I do use it? Also, do I use this? I don't know what to do with Sacred Bark. Sacred Bark is so fucking weird. I refill potions? I can refill potions. Oh, wait. Bark is a tree's toenail. It's incredible that there are any problems humanity cannot solve. Another force field? Okay, let's try having two. I don't know if I like having two. We'll find out soon, I guess. Amplify would be okay. I said it would be okay. Do I actually want it? I think so. You want me to turn the music down? I don't even know what you're talking about. The music's just the regular volume. I'm probably just mumbling because I feel ill. That is probably it. Alright, I have 463 gold because I took a hand of greed earlier. Let's open this thing. We can go into double aggregate right now. With hologram. That seems kind of rad. I want darkness. 
now that I have a compiled driver, would kind of make sense. Probably. I want to take more compile drivers, I guess. Thanks, bitch wind. I mean, it's on sale. Did my microphone break? Maybe my microphone broke. Now I just need to find like eight more card draw cards. Doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Hey, good start. Silvardo, Salon Star, thanks for 46 months. Oh. Aggregate main counters chosen. True. Actually true. Atuntina Stella thinks for 57 months. Oh my gosh, I said happy Chinese New Year. To someone via text and the entire text message chain went red. And like and fireworksy and stuff. It was wild. So much joy in the world. I guess it's harder to play Hand of Greed now. That's okay. Boxing for seven months. We have defeated a gremlin leader. This deck's kind of sweet. I wonder how the awakened one fight looks. We take a meteor strike and work toward an infinite. Thoughts? Yeah, I don't think we need to do that here. Bullseye? Bullseye deals a lot of damage. Gremlin leader? More like gremlin bleeder. Okay. 
All right. Not our strongest effort, but okay. Feels like Fission's a very good card here. Feels like more copies of Bias Cog are excellent. I don't know about Buffer. Feels like Seek is very good. Echo Form? I guess I'd take an Echo Form. I think I might lose Oddly Smooth Stone over Art of War, though. Feels like I'm using the Art of War pretty regularly. We want the Super Elite. Ink Bottle's great. Oh. Thanks to Super Elite. Book of Stabbing might be pretty hard, actually. Good fight. Hey, it worked already. One extra rare card. Oh, well. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work, actually? Fair. I guess I could try to hand up greed. All right, I'm down to try. We've been a very different run with Snekoi. There would be some meteor strikes in the deck, probably. Wait a second. <laughs> Don't have any energy left. Uh, whoops. I guess I didn't hand of greed. But you know what? I tried. Could have paid one health there. Play the Sender's Bane, put this on six instead of five. Hologram should be okay, right? You would think so. Yeah, this is the one that I think might be scary. Hmm. Did it in the wrong order. Could have gotten rebound zap, then played defrag and drawn the zap. Plus ten damage. No one could have predicted I would run out of energy. Certainly not me. I feel like I'm missing one static discharge for the site. Probably Amplify Bias Cog does it though. All right, good stuff. Is that a hand upgrade? It is. Right? Wait, how do I deal enough damage? Oh, shoot. I... 
a hologram hand of greed and I hit compile driver off ink bottle and then I compile driver and then I aggregate. That easy. All right. Uh, the thing did the thing again. Extra rare cards four. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> wow, they're all bad. That is remarkable. That's really kind of hard to believe. Error, thanks for 35 months. Thunderstrike deals uh, damage if my lightning orbs already killed the enemy and doesn't do anything if my lightning orbs didn't already kill the enemy. So that's not a very good card. I don't think it's a multicast. I don't think I need a second to amplify for any reason. Oh well. Good hand. It got better. Oh, it's a vibe right now. All right, good fight. This happened again. I am going to skip again. <laughs> it's five extra rares in one act and I haven't taken one of them. <laughs> what a relic, what a relic. No, it replaces commons, not uncommons. So they were not deep fragments. I guess I meant to try to draw Amplify for Storm there. I guess I played that wrong. Nookie. Looking Naloth's gift horse in the mouth. I suppose I am. Do I come off as ungrateful, Twitch chat? They still haven't worked out what this song means. All those rares would have been cool headed. Cool headed pluses, I assume. I don't know if this deck takes cool headed. But I would take cool headed plus. All right, it took a floor off. Deserved. A deserved break. How's the champ fight look? Kind of weird. Okay, upgrade capacitor. But 
also upgrade biased cog, amplify. I don't think my power density is good enough for amplify. I'll go capacitor. Jorbs doesn't pick claw often enough. Those are fighting words. I feel like I pick claw a perfectly reasonable amount of the time. You're welcome, Hajibuji. I'm gonna use this for this fight, but I'm going to use it on the turn where I have Amplify in my hand. That seems right to me. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not using it on the turn where I have Amplify in hand. Next time. Let's go for it. Three buffers or three electrodynamics. Actually, it's four because I can hologram the amplify. Four electrodynamics, it's 120 damage. It certainly wins the fight. Four buffers is probably better, though. This song makes me think of a girl. I don't know which song you're talking about. Could really be any of them. Do you all know about Limerence Twitch chat? Hey, Grammyism. I still have four buffer stacks. Oh, ink bottle goes before aggregate makes energy. I didn't know that. Maybe next turn I can hologram a hand upgrade. Oh shit, I'm one energy short, huh? Let's 
so. All right. Take core surge for a biased cog. Seems straightforward and reasonable. Take a coffee dripper. I'm not going to rest, so. This magic formula will auto-update the wind streak number in Spire Year. Array formula, count A, run history, C to C, max filter rerun. What? Thank you. Let's see if it works. Landing. Current nine. Is that true? Current nine. Current nine. Oh, it only does the rotating. That's pretty cool. Can you make it do the longest win streak that I've had so far in the year too, as well as just the current one? Arrows, thanks for the gifted sub to Yellow Hexapod. Oh my god, they're still in Act 3? I feel so strong. How can there be another act still? Wild. I like this path. It gets two shops, it gets lots of elites, it gets lots of upgrades. Just feels like every floor makes me stronger. There are two acts left. Two acts left. Seems impossible. Loop plus. Sure. Defragment. Okay. What if you about a turbo? I don't think so. What about this? This is kind of a sweet potion. I want the card remove. I want the defragment. I really want a heat sinks. I don't think I care about medkit. Mm, doesn't feel like a deck that's going to cycle through many times, so I'm only drawing the statuses once, probably. Pantograph. Pantograph is one way to get more health with a heart fight. War wizings for two months. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the book. How much do I value Panacea? I already have a core surge. It's like it's it's like okay. But like if I didn't have a core surge, I would be more interested in it. Honestly, I don't need an artifact charge for anything other than maybe blocking vulnerable against the heart, and they don't reliably do that anyway, because I can't put them in my opening hand. I don't think I buy Pentagraph. I think I go to another shop. Like, there's no way I'm playing Core Surge or Bias Cog here, for example. I just play like that, because the, the fight's over before the focus loss matters. Oh, I forgot this one explodes next turn. It didn't matter very much. This does not feel like a recycle deck. A recycle minus deck. Yeah. Maybe I'd take a recycle plus for some energy generation, but um, that just doesn't really do anything here, huh? The 
play this? I think so. thousand hours is quite a bit of time. Imagine what I could have done with that time instead. Actually, no. Stop imagining that. <laughs> no, I started thinking about that and decided it was a bad idea, actually. I could have written a book. True. True. I've done a decent amount of stuff these last few years. I kind of didn't draw my good cards until the fight was already over. Could have become a commercial airline pilot. My grandfather was a commercial airline pilot. They want to writhe. They want madness. All right. Hit it. are surely two potions to have with bark. Yeah, I don't like sacred bark very much. <laughs> I just don't think it's that strong. That was unreal. <laughs> that was kind of unreal. I used both potions, and honestly, I guess I could have used the weak potion. Wait, I didn't even get attacked by Reptomancer the previous turn, right? That was unreal. Charles Lightning has been betrayed by his deck draw order. That's what we're going to mostly call this. I had two fights in a row where I just... I have a 36-card deck, and I had a two fights in a row where I drew my deck in a very poor order. And the second one's ripped immensely, and I died. But yeah, I went from basically full health to dud in uh, two floors. Sometimes when you have 36 cards, there's a bit of variance in your deck. And yeah, we just saw that. So that has an innate storm, which I took uh, on account of getting uh, first relic anchor. So that was doing a lot of my damage with a bunch of good powers. And I have a variety of high variance cards, admittedly. Like Amplify is high variance, Aggregate is high variance, Force Field is somewhat high variance. Hologram's kind of high variance too, in that if you don't have any of the cards that are worth getting back with it yet, it's bad. So this tech can probably be constructed better. Well, certainly be constructed better. I could certainly construct it better. But I don't think that it loses very often. 
just happened to lose that time. Anyway, GG. That was a minute and six second long recording. I thought I'd been talking for like 30 seconds. Nice girl. Shakespeare. Just a colorless card, probably. Flash of Steel's good. I don't know, I think it's like generally good. One HP enemies. Problem with one HP enemies on Watchers, you just kill them all anyway. Let's go colorless card. Discovery? You could take Dramatic Entrance and then remove it. I think taking a card that's on top of Eruption every time is kind of bad. Yikes. That's the worst first card reward I've seen on Watcher for a while. I will take a flurry of blows, though. I could have had two pressure points already, yeah? Deck would probably be unstoppable. I wonder how many pressure points you can have in your deck um, before it starts to be correct to take another one over just removing them all. It might just not be possible for that to happen, actually. It would depend on your relics, I think. Infinity is based on Slay the Spire. That's a take. I think that is untrue. This is not a great start to the run, to be totally honest. I can definitely die next floor right now. Sweet. 
Smoke bomb will make it harder to die next turn. Next floor. Floor after I can die, though. Man, I really thought this might be useful. Silly me. Alright, Crescendo got me there. Regal Pillow, you seem useful. Empty Fist also seems useful. Weak Potion. Guardian Act. Don't really have a block card. I guess the question is, do I need Smoke Bomb anymore? Maybe I don't. Regal Pillow gives me a good amount of health. It's a bit spooky. DKV. Glad I drew an empty fist here. All right, let's do some math. 27 plus turn I think I'm just gonna crescendo. I guess we can check what this is. <sighs> Brilliance? Yes? And then I just hope I don't take 20 next turn. That would be very sad. But, I mean, how could that possibly happen? Oh boy. Oh boy, it's not one of the strong watcher runs. <laughs> oh no. Because we all kick make my deck better or worse. I think probably slightly better. Does Weave make my deck better? I don't know. I don't know how I'm getting through Guardian. And I'm skipping this, I think. Thread Needle's an actual relic. to the hand. Hey. Things are looking up suddenly. So I could use some upgrades. I could also use a shop. I 
I think I like the upgrade more. What do I upgrade? Let's talk to the hand is important for Guardian. I don't actually know what other upgrade is important here. Let's go here to start. I always wondered why Weave was uncommon and Flurry was common. It is a bit of a mystery. Definitely implies some strange beliefs about which of those synergy packages is better, doesn't it? Take a Foresight for Guardian. Also just for, like, the run. It's a bit slow. I have a Thread Needle, I don't know. Let's grab this upgrade on Talk to the Hand. Sometimes cards are rare because you don't want to see them. Well, that's sad. Go Vigilance Flurry Defend, I think. No reason to mess with Discovery there. Feels like it could use a Tranquility. Marbles is a good relic. Marbles is a good relic. Flurry. I might actually have to rust. I have pretty good upgrades. I thought Foresight was going to let me not rust, but that 10 damage feels pretty significant. Mm. Upgrading eruption is so big though. So at worst, I can Liquid Memories, Eruption.
Electrum. Uh, it's going like okay. I got some sort of bizarre disease. But other than that, I'm good. Setting aside the part where I'm not good. I'm doing great. <laughs> I guess lethal. Mm, not quite there. I didn't have to rust. In fairness, I didn't know I was going to get Deceive Reality off of Discover. Re. Discover. Re. Wish. Wish is okay. Pyramid. Pyramid is pyramid. Twin Path Water is things that are now months. I appreciate it. I feel like we survived long enough to find Runic Pyramid, and now we're probably doing fine. That's how I feel. I don't know why I'm trying to sink this one. It's attacking me for less. It actually just one damage. <laughs> Wait, it. I don't know. So we keep our flurries in hand as we reshuffle. And then we will win somehow. Hey, next say, how are you? Fear No Evil seems excellent. Fear No Evil seems like our card. That's a hand.
that's a hand. Do I have to play Discovery there for any reason? Can Discovery make Wish on Watcher? It shouldn't be able to. Can make Lesson Learned? Maybe I have to play it. I didn't think about it. Well, now I'm thinking about it. I had thought about it before, but I didn't think about it that turn. Lanya, thanks for the 66 months. Appreciate it. Indignation? Yeah, I think I need another Wrath Hunter. Meditate. Mirroring talk to the hand seems pretty sensible. If I mirror talk to the hand, I start to need some way to strip artifact charges, maybe? We'll work it out later. The deck's straightforward. I have two flurries, I have two talk to the hands, and I have a bunch of stance swapping. Oh wait, maybe I go and unshock you. Over meditate. Let's do that. Three talk to the hands? <laughs> right. Maybe the strategy is just to have so many talk to the hands that I can just get through the artifact charges by playing talk to the hands on them. Can make Hand of Greed? Ow. Discovery can make Hand of Greed? It only makes Watcher cards. What a garbage opening turn, by the way. Boba, thanks for the two years. Oh, a foreign influence. Good grief. Okay, fair enough. I guess I was meant to play these. Oops. Meditate showed up. I kind of want an empty body, to be honest. Feels like my turn one is very bad. <sighs> I don't know what Meditate really does. Like, who cares? The flurries are the cards that I care about bringing back, and they come back on their own. I'm gonna take empty body over meditate. Feeling good about it so far. Okay. I think we take this. Oh, 
Oh! Close. Close. No more. A mental fortress or a, an inner piece? Both feel pretty decent. Chance of generating Hand of Greed off Discovery is low, but never zero. Unless you don't play Discovery. That's an important lesson. You miss every shot you don't take. Michael Scott. It does kind of feel like I have enough block already. With three talk to the hands. Let's take an inner piece. Just speeds me up a lot. Well, Mental Fortress slows me down, so. Arn Influence is how you get colorless cards with Discovery. Another spot where Empty Body was better than Meditate, pretty sure. I would like to wish. This, this, this. Okay. Why does everybody think the music volume is higher than normal? What is happening? Did the internet break? Am I really talking that quietly? I don't feel like I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just talking that quietly. I don't feel that bad. <laughs> Maybe I am that bad. Uh, Gremlin horn. It's a good relic. We'll take it. Have I ever made a Conjure Blade deck that worked? I have had Conjure Blade in a deck that won the run. So really it depends what you consider a Conjure Blade deck to be. You can't have Miller Light thanks to nine months. You're very welcome. That's enough block already? Then I need to go crescendo. Oh, I just have 
enough already. Okay, cool. Good duck. Happy flower. Another crescendo. I think I'm okay. I think I do not need another crescendo. Upgrading something. Seems good. <laughs> that talked the hand upgrade. Got duplicated twice and is the only upgrade I've, <laughs> I've actually made this run. It's kind of funny. I want to upgrade Wish. He's a larf. I have not. Another four hours or something. The question would be, was the Conjure Blade a vital part of your win condition? Well, what does vital mean? You're never going to escape from the fact that you're making up a category of deck without defining what it is. Yeah, let's upgrade Wish. It's kind of weird. Because it's like... Kind of one reason I'm upgrading it is so that I get more gold from it, but I'm pretty sure just going to a hallway fight would have gotten me more gold from it. But it's okay, I also get more plated armor or strength in the situations where that matters, which may come up. Let's upgrade Foresight, I think. Between the Bag of Prep and Card Remove. You might think that's easy. I don't know, maybe you don't think that's easy. I don't think it's very easy. I don't know what it is. Get panic button as well if I took card remove. Maybe that's enough of a reason to take card remove then. Panic button seems pretty decent here. Because, like, you panic button for the turn where you need block, and then the next turn you have block with talk to the hand, which panic button debuff doesn't stop from blocking. Do I like panache? Hey, I just think it's a damage card. Doesn't feel like what this deck needs. Uber Ninja, thanks for the prime, I appreciate it. There are a few cards that make an archetypical deck. Rushdown and Corruption are examples, but it's not like this is a talk to the hand deck. I mean you can just you can just make it up. <laughs> it's just made up. You, you can just say whatever you want. This can be a talk to the hand deck if you want it to be. If that is the defining feature that you think is important about this deck, you can call this deck a talk to the hand deck. Looks like. Turns out this was a rushdown deck the entire time. It used to be a discovery deck, but then the discovery made a rushdown, so now it's a rushdown deck. That's the beautiful thing about discovery, I suppose.
Looks like Rushdown would be better if I entered Wrath. Got it. Twenty thirty eight is a strike. Oh, I just clicked the wrong one. That was weird. Like my mouse cursor just went to the wrong enemy. Okay. Not how we drew it up. It's a Jorb stack. I appreciate that. Thank you. So maybe I should have played Panic Button. I guess I can play it this turn. Hey! What do you want? What do you want? Are you looking for timeout? Or cuddles? Those are your two options. It is three hours until your dinner time. That's just unreasonable, Zephyr. Can't start asking for dinner three hours before dinner time. Ooh. You are licking my hand. a very handsome town. It's a majestic town. Tea over me, Sparky. Pepper, why are you? What? Oh. <sighs> Such a cute cat. He is such a cute cat. Deva form. I don't really have the card draw for it. Also, I already have the whole Flurry's Nunchaku thing going on, right? Buying Nunchaku saved me some energy upgrades this run. I would have been upgrading energy a lot more aggressively, but we got the Nunchaku purchase and now I don't really need to. Just take Volt. Nothing wrong with Volt. Uh, I don't know if I need this. I think I can just take Bell with Omamori. Oh, 
What does it do? Not much. Okay. Not sure that those do much either. Ooh. Shadow Fantasy. Crescendo, Talk of the Hand, Empty Fist. Shit, how do I block on this fight? Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Playing this takes four. Son of Island, thanks for the three years. Appreciate it. I regret skipping pressure points now. Oh, I forgot I had panic button. Nice. I mean, I've regretted skipping pressure points since the moment that I skipped it. Obviously. I actually care quite a lot about wishing here. Like, enough to take a non-trivial amount of damage for it. Because it gets me a card removed next floor. Sudden that luck sinks to the 17 months. Could gain zero block. Whoops. Fair enough. Already a lot of months. It's quite a few months. The next attack I play costs zero. Let's go this one and this one and that's just this. Uh oh. Maybe that was the wrong order. Need more block cards? What if I used my Ambrosia to get out of the fight? Feels unnecessary. Probably. We'll see. Hard to say for sure. Do I just hit it? Do I just hit it? I guess I take less damage next turn. Uh... I guess I have 
room for two more cards. We got there. Everything's upgraded. Rush down. Probably. Rush down feels more important than other things. Want to wish. Tips for playing Watcher, Beyond, Ascension 12. Let me just check out what I'm doing this run. I feel like this is a fairly typical Watcher run. Don't think I care about Liquid Bronze. Time Eater. I guess we just wish for strength against Time Eater and we're fine. Is this Gremlin Nub? Doesn't Gremlin Nub say the same thing? Watch your over-explained run? I don't. Have an over-explained watch your run with a munch down. Oh, okay. believable. I guess Tranquility is just a worse card than Interface. Oh, but Tranquility doesn't shuffle into my deck again. Okay, right. we'll trust past Jarbs on that decision. Another rush down. It's probably better than not taking it. The question with that kind of stuff is just do I have enough survivability to be able to draw all of my 
scaling cards at the start of a fight and not die. And I think with my potion belt I do. I mean I don't have a relic potion belt, but I have particular potions in my potion belt. Shadow Fantasy. Seafood fan. I'm a salmon fan. Is salmon seafood though, or is it river food? I like some seafood and don't like other seafood. I feel like I'm pretty middle of the road in terms of seafood fandom. Often with Pyramid Decks, you don't actually want to rush down some ply, because you want your flurries to come back there. Sundial? Deck is probably a bit big for that to do much. So I'm gonna only go into rivers to spawn. True. Well, they are born in rivers and die in rivers. Feels kind of meaningful. Chaku is making 0.35 energy per turn. I think a question mark because it can remove a card. Probably. I have an Omomori still for the bad question marks. Uh, Apotheosis has got to be good here. Purity? I think purity is okay. The rest seems kind of bad. Maybe trip's okay since I have double rush down now. I die in the river if they get a fish down. True. I'm just doing this. What are my goals? I just want to play Wish, right? Straight forward. Die when they spawn. Yes, salmon return to the river they were born in to lay eggs at the end of their lives and then they die.
The things parents do for their children, huh? Wish I had some strength. I guess I could have put the relics on good numbers. Seems like too much work, honestly. Just way too much work. Ever halt? I don't think so. We still have the three talk to the hands, and that's how we're blocking. I don't do an incredible job of removing artifact charges, though. Maybe that's a reason to take trip, actually. Okay. Didn't think about that. Atlantic salmon live to breed again. No way. I didn't know that. I will take your word for it. Remember when this enemy dealt me like 40 damage in the defect round and then I died next floor? I do. Jorbs remembers. Well, we can take revenge. and I can wish and then I have Nunchaku ready to kill it somehow. Maybe the Flurries just kill it anyway. Oh. Oh, that'll do. All six species of Pacific Salmon live for many years in the ocean before swimming to the freshwater stream of its birth, spawning, and then dying. Most Atlantic Salmon also die after spawning, but about 5-10% to 10 mostly female return to the ocean where they can recover and spawn again the next season. Oh okay. yeah, so like... Almost all Salmon. I get like this upgrade potion, I think that one's pretty good. Mm. I don't know about this other crap. Hey, it's the Writhing Mass Interrupt Dimensor again. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We took Gremlin Horn. Today is not the day that I died Interrupt Dimensor twice in a row. if the salmon successfully return to the river and have little baby salmon that's like that's really the optimistic take on the life of a salmon there are other outcomes for the life of a salmon which I would say are significantly less optimistic Back. 
kill next turn so we don't lose Sundial. Molten Egg upgrades lesson learned. Ogcham. Ah, uh, do I want a lesson learned with one, two, three, like four upgrades? Maybe. It's not that bad. It's a lot of energy. I don't actually know if I need energy all that much. It's basics that I just want to purity a decent amount. It's discovery that I'm not sure I actually want upgraded. I guess I skip it. What I'm saying is if you believe in reincarnation and you know you're going to reincarnate into a salmon, hope it is a female Atlantic salmon so you have a chance of not dying after spawning. I do think that most lives end, so I don't think that observing that things die is really that grim. <laughs> I don't know, it's like fine. Would that we were all immortal, but we are not. Now what do I do? I have Foresight, I think I can do this. Oh wait. strength. I don't even know what that means. Does that mean wheel kick? Maybe that means wheel kick. A wallop? Wallop's like kind of helpful for early turns. And I have an Ambrosia. I guess so. You think it's really cool that polar bears disperse clockwise because of the spin of the earth? That is kind of cool. I didn't know that. I'm going to choose to believe that it's true. Has the stream been good? Good stream so far. Don't know about this turn. Maybe this is Ambrosia. Kind of rude. Maybe I shouldn't have taken a wallop. Shit. It's okay. We can use a potion. one more card. So the wallop just cost me that potion, I guess is what I'm saying.
Painful. Is this reverse if they are in a zoo in the southern hemisphere? Do they disperse counterclockwise in a zoo? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think... I don't think... <laughs> they just stay where they are. Right? Seems like they would just stay where they are. What if the polar bears are at the equator? Gosh. Truly the greatest minds. <laughs> You're in Twitch chat. What if the polar bears are at the equator? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Still have an empty body. This panic button? I guess this panic button. Oh, wait. Isn't the planet Earth just a big zoo? Um I will let you know if I ever go there. Save polar bears by transporting them to the Antarctic. Okay. Jeff Bezos has been saving the Amazon rainforest by transporting it by helicopter to two giant testicle shaped glass spheres in Seattle. Cocktail bar in the basement of Bezos' glass balls is pretty nice. Did Douglas Adams have a thing about the restaurant at the end of the universe? Was that Douglas Adams? I wonder if that applies here somehow. Second. I needed that one to draw cards. Alright, we worked it out. Sundials on two. I've decided I don't care about the other ones. Ow. It's fine. We wish for strength. Or sight down so we don't draw the bad cards.
Do I have four more cards? Looks like I don't. So that's what I've got, and we just bolt next turn. Suddenly regret not having more energy. Probably can split and panic button here. So it's fine to play Panic Button because it can attack me next turn because it is refreshing. Getting rid of all of its debuffs, which means we will want to play another Talk to the Hand next turn. Two more Talk to the Hands next turn. All right, cool. Still gone a wall. I did not put my relics on the right numbers, nor did I look for hand upgrade with Discovery. Banana Muffin, thanks for the 51 months. Appreciate it. Feels like a run where maybe I should have put my relics on the right numbers. I don't know. I have Runic Pyramid. The rest of it's a bit iffy. I think if I get Purity on three, we're happy. I might actually just rest for nine health. There is an apotheosis. Yeah. It is still a little unclear how I'm going to strip artifact charges here. Another crescendo. Better card now that I have an Apotheosis, I guess. I think the heart fight's easier than this fight is. That is presumably a good starting hand, though. Should face this way for one less damage. Taking 18. Oh wait. Immediately rewarded for resting. 
uh, with the apotheosis? I guess so. Well, this seems miserable. Those are not the right cards. And I actually just can't enter Wrath here? <laughs> Fuck. Enter Wrath here into just die. on left looking sad. Well, I won't always draw Apotheosis turn one. I would have hit Empty Fist. Wouldn't have done anything though. Every talk to the hand, uh, <laughs> every block card, every block card. Okay. Nice, great, Scanardo. Sounds good. Mustard greens. All right, that thing I said about next fight being easier. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We will we'll have to see. It depends. Can I draw my cards better than I just did? That's kind of the question. through fate, which I am absolutely going to take. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I mean, I guess it evens out. Still die this turn? How would I like to not die here? I have to wish for plated armor. Like this turn, I have to do it. But I would rather not play Empty Body yet. I want to be able to Indignation and Empty Body for flurries that I draw next turn. Is that even enough block? 52 and 59 right now. I go Miracle Defend the Wish. I don't even think that's enough block. I 
I don't know what that is. Cube zero. I have 11 block right now to 59, 57. I could play empty buddy. Do I even have enough block if I play everything? Like, this is miserable. Fifteen, nineteen, twenty-three. Empty body defense enough, yeah. It's kinda iffy, kinda iffy playing empty body this turn. But the alternative just dies. End up at fifteen block, nineteen, fifty-eight, sixty-seven, just dies. Alright, so I guess the next question is, do I want to play Discovery? I think I do. Okay. Next question, do I want to play that wild this turn? I think so. Did I lose, like, Rushdown? I could play it without indignation. Is it worth it to cash in Indignation for another 5 block? No, probably not. So Wallop. Fifty-eight. Sixty-seven. I think Miracle Wish Plus. Now a wallop, man. Alright, I didn't die yet. Can I draw flurries, please? Looks like a no. There's an apotheosis on my deck, right? I think so. Security's okay. Security on... Uh, I want wheel kick? Maybe I don't want wheel kick. Don't want wheel kick. I still didn't like survive the fight. 
Can we get rid of Rushdown instead? I panic button next turn, maybe? So you don't have Foresight in play? Those ones are obvious. I can get rid of a rushdown. Let's do this. That should win now. What a terrifying, terrifying fight. Let's just draw two so I can also get the flurries back. Coming damage, damn. Same idea, I think. Button next turn. Do this. You, 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 you. Holy shit. Actually, yeah, thanks for 33 months. I appreciate it. Not even needing panic button. So now I am drawing four. Shuffle. So I go inner piece, inner piece. And then I just have to block next turn and kill the turn after. Oh, I should I have eight strength? <laughs> I completely forgot that the cultist potion existed. Well, that makes the end easier. This was a very scary act four. Um, deck started with a discovery from the whale, which is like I don't know. It's not my favorite whale bonus, but I've been trying to experiment with more watcher cards. Uh. 
I actually skipped my first card reward too, it was very bad, but then I got Flurry of Blows, Crush Joints, Crescendo, Empty Fist to get me through Act 1, and uh, talk to the Hand and Foresight for the Guardian fight, which was actually quite hard. Take a Wish from Guardian, um, the gold from that probably helped a decent amount. I think the Plated Armor from it this saved my life in this fight, and the Strength from it might have mattered against Time Eater too. Eventually found an Apotheosis uh, in the Act 4 shop, so that's why everything's upgraded. And had a cultist potion for the heart. Hardest part of the heart fight was surviving the early attacks. I'm at six. GG. I needed the mental fortress that run. I don't know. Unceasing top MVP. There definitely was an unceasing top. We had unceasing top and we won. Gosh, when you put it like that. I missed a wild ban while I was busy killing the heart. Oh wait. I'm down to miss that. How many hours have I spent watching the credits? Who wants to do the math? <laughs> I 
Anybody been watching the YouTube shorts? Uploaded a bunch more YouTube shorts yesterday. Or last night. In the middle of the night, I think, actually. I got in a few thousand views between all of them. Wow, people really didn't like the epic defect run. 53.6% like ratio. That's extremely low. That's usually a good sign, because it means that your stuff is being shown to people who don't know it yet. We're going to call that a good sign. Did I always watch the full credits? No, I started doing it at some point, but I don't remember when. I think it was when I was doing, uh, like, the month challenges, 100 kills in a month, just because otherwise I would never actually take a break. The YouTube algorithm is basically the Go AI that beat the best Go Grandmasters in the world at Go, trying to trick you into watching more YouTube instead of sleeping. So when you are suggested things by the YouTube algorithm, you're in like a, a PvP sort of scenario. I have to go to a shop, but the best bonus is transform to. I guess I can take a random rare. I guess that's okay on Ironclad. Is it just always Juggernaut? Has anybody else noticed that it's just always Juggernaut? All right, we have another early Juggernaut run. You're dead. Iron Wave. Ooh. Those are good commons. I could imagine this not being anger, actually. I'm going to take anger, though. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I personally think that the red louse is cuter. Heart of Iron Body Slam, sensing a theme this run. Heart of Iron's a very good potion when you have a juggernaut. I don't think I take Body Slam though. Anger is very good because Ironclad has high energy costs on his starter deck cards, and Anger costs zero. And I imagine that adding another two cost card to your deck makes Anger even better. Flame Barrier is okay. Fuck. Why couldn't the feed be on sale? I could buy another Heart of Iron. I don't actually think there's anything to do other than card remove here. Like, it's just kind of a miserable shop. They can intimidate. Such a sad shop. Hey, Siri, play Despacito.
Ow. We just go for this. All right, not a terrible fight. I'm gonna take armaments over another anger. My intention was not to fight the super elite. It was always to go to this campfire, upgrade juggernaut, and now I should be ready to kill elites. Unless this is a bad curse. Play card remove. Another strike gone. Oh. Well, I mean, the entire point is that I deal 7 per turn with this potion and block most of the incoming damage. That is the entire point. Not bad. I haven't had that many burning packs recently, I feel like. Our Calcum is great here. Oh god. Grit and a burning pack this early. Very early. Looks like I need to be a bit better at just killing stuff, like maybe just a hubbot. That is my personal vibe on the situation. Song display is stuck. Rest in peace, song display. So weird. Zephyr, hello. Come here. Or go away. You may pick. Ten plus seven. It's exact. Nice. The boot. The boot pummel. I mean, actually. Yeah. Okay. Like it's fine. I don't know. Good. Maybe not. Good fucking... Seriously? <laughs> okay. I guess playing the defense could just cost me one health. How about?
I am going to take another Burning Pact, and I'm going to look for some energy generation. I remember these. There used to be more of them. And okay, okay. I don't think so. Don't think so. Flex potion, no. I'm healthy. I kind of want to upgrade Flame Barrier with Headbutt. Decent upgrade. Yeah, go for it. Korean Flame Barrier Meta. Actually, getting rid of three defends despite it being guardian fight. Should put Juggernaut in play, probably. Not yet? Maybe not yet. God, I don't have Juggernaut. Okay. So the plan now is just kind of play Flame Barrier every time. And that should win. of like juggernaut if you think about it. They both say the number five sometimes. What else? Was that it? Thanks for the Yiko Kespar. I think offering over Reaper the Juggernaut and play and stuff. Reaper's not doing much here. No strength. No real desire to ever have strength. I guess I have the boot. Transform 3. Over energy? I think so. 
Reaper is actually Reaper Plus because of the boot. You're not wrong. Sentinel Plus is excellent. Rupture Plus. Interesting. Sentinel Plus is great. The other stuff, maybe we could do without. I don't want to just go to two shops for two removes. Also for feel no pain. Yeah. Okay. Going to shops just to have a higher chance to see feel no pain is actually a pretty big deal. The boot. National jewel teams allowed to unionize, encouraged even. Power through. Power through a second wind. Yeah, I think so. Body Slam is probably getting closer to being good. I don't think we take an unupgraded one, though. I will buy a Metallicize. Bottling Juggernaut is kind of good. Kind of good, actually. Given that it's all of my damage. Maybe instead of a card remove, we just shockwave. Shockwave seems good to you. And I'm going to another store, so let's hold on to our gold for that. This is a flame barrier deck, I think. Abnormal. Goodbye, friend. It's a boot deck. It isn't not a boot deck. Wheel doesn't hit much. Talisize. I need more energy for the wheel to be appealing. Yeah, I think it's just a little iffy. I think with Shockwave, I can take a regen potion over a weak potion. Uh, do I have strikes? I don't have strikes. This one didn't feel like a great fight for me when I was thinking about the act. Do you have a Thunderclap plus? Maybe I can't play it. I don't think I can play it. Thanks, CJD. Hit. Nice.
Hä? Ho, 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 ho. Wieder vor. Ah, uh, if the bird cultist fight wasn't good, <laughs> I guess we don't expect this one to be very good. Okay. survived it. Aka Bako, take another pummel. Oh my god. I think we do. I think we do. Double pummel. Double pummel all the way. I don't have many attacks. Hmm. Would be good with Reaper. Oh well. Double metallicize. Not quite it. Another spoon? I don't think so. Best card to remove? Anger? I think it's anger, weirdly. Wait. I want another shrug. Or a first shrug, rather. Kind of. I upgraded a bunch of cards. They don't look that good. I can back for the first pummel and boot for the second. Yep, that's the play. Such a bad turn one. Kills it before I take damage, right? No. Oh, rude. It's about 25 with another elite fight coming. I have done this to me. Why have I done this to me? Alright, I'm at 35 with another elite fight coming. I'm at full health with an. <laughs> it's rupture, yeah? Actually, I actually am at full health. Unless I want to give away offering. Went up real fast. It's higher than before. 
Oh, now it's lower again. that there's actually anything for me to do about that. I would like you to drop a heal no pain, Gremlin Leader. Payback for my bird cultist luck. I should use a potion to heal 5, but they're both better than healing 5. It's so awkward to use this block potion. I bought that at a store, right? I am not going to discard it. <laughs> Whoops. I was very confused about whether my deck is a strength deck or not. Uh, I still need to feel no pain. planned so I would have strength in this fight. It was not. <laughs> that would have been nice though. I have to put Zephyr in timeout. He seems to yearn for the for the timeout. Thank you, Rajan. Thanks for the eight months. Appreciate it. I feel no pain. <laughs> Please just give me feel no pain. Another metallicize. Don't think it's quite feel no pen.
One Juggernaut at less than three cost. My bad. Uh, I, I just saw just play it, I think. Nothing. I have found nothing. I got a rust. Upgrade doesn't do that much with an upgrade potion anyway. Alright, Juggernaut turn one at least. Feel no pain, why? Oh, don't take all of the pummels. I'm gonna kill you. all set up. Uh, so I get power through second one next turn. Gotta just settle for that, I guess. Where does the rest of my damage come from? Kind of doesn't. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We just block for enough, I think. These two combine for 21 damage. Alright. It was a bit iffy. I mean, if I had a feel no pain, I'd be all over this corruption. Or a dark embrace. I have a power potion. Haven't seen Sundial yet. All of my strikes are gone. It's a very powerful corruption. 
Okay. Come on, feel no pain. Feel no pain, dark embrace, please. See your nose, thanks for 29 months. Appreciate it. Is it possible to just get the good cards? Can it happen? I might have to take a body slam now. Twenty-two plus eighteen is forty. You can mouse over the astrolabe on your screen to find out what was in it. We have that technology. Not cool. I have seen so many uncommon powers. I have seen so many uncommon powers. I think I do take an evolve for the... Um... Shit, I have Pyramid now though, so I can't get the wounds out of my hand. Okay, maybe I don't then. Fuck, I don't know. Is that Awaken on first? It is. Let's skip it then. Two shops. Got another uncommon power. This feels like pallets to me, but why does it feel that way? I don't really know. What does pallets do? Speed push on ones. Okay. Maybe that's enough. I don't think I buy Whirlwind, but I don't really know what I'm doing against Rough Dimensor if I don't buy Whirlwind. So maybe I do buy Whirlwind. Do I have enough money for a power? I have Ceramic Fish. I think I do. Hold on. No, I don't. I 
don't think I can take myself off being able to if I feel no pain by buying these orange pellets. They're good, but they're just not good enough compared to how good feel no pain is. Loses weak at the end. Means damage is even better. Hmm. Well, the problem is not energy. That is not the problem. Problem is card to draw. Also, feel no pen. How do you use something something throw pick with no cards draw? Mm -hmm. Ah, feel up, man. So what's the play? Take a card that's take a relic that's way worse than orange pellets. Mayhem. Nope. It might actually just be Art of War. Kind of a get to the next floor sort of situation. I don't think card removes very good. Could see it being Art of War or go Art of War or Centennial Puzzle. I really don't want to use this. Maybe I can choose whether or not to use it next turn. The goal is find Whirlwind, right? The goal is draw Whirlwind next turn. Well, it's not Whirlwind.
They can't really corruption until we're all on D there. And my hand's full, which is kind of fun. All right, I got to choose. Are you sure Dark Embrace? Unfortunately, I will never get to use that Power Potion again. I'm assuming uh, that I can just kill Reptomancer here. One, two, three, four, five. Jambard thinks the 20 months. She gave it. I am gonna take Rage Plus. I should upgrade Armaments. I want one more elite fight, but I might not want two, because Reptomancer is so scary. Also, if I do two, I'm forced into a shop with... Well... Shops are the best floors to find Field of Pain and Dark Embrace, actually. Actually, that seems pretty good. Oh, But if I do this, I can't upgrade Armaments this act. So weird. Maybe we do this. That's a pretty good chance to find Field of Pain and Dark Embrace, and it lets me upgrade armaments there. Unless I'm at low health. Wait, it's a curse again. What the hell? Rage is a good card. Rage makes the whirlwinds better too. Okay. 
There's only one curse on it. It can only give you one curse. It can't give you more than one curse. I found another uncommon. Alright, elite fight. Giant head. Yes, you would sometimes want more than one curse. That is why I'd kind of make more. Because it would be very, very boring to sit in that fight and farm 100 curses. In my opinion, at least. Do I put all of the energy again at the bottom of the deck? I might have needed that headbutt too. Oh, I've had better boots than this. This boot's fine. Yeah, I've had better. Hey, May. Have I missed you? It's nice to see you. How about that? Played armaments and didn't upgrade body slam. Hmm. Old. Was never worried. I found another rage. I don't I don't know. Into regal pillow. Is that good? I don't think it's very good. Drop a B thanks to 26 months. Thanks for the 17 months, my brownin'. I'm going to take another ridge. I can't pick up Lizard Tail. one damage less than I need to deal.
Okay. I just felt like Ironclad was higher variance than the other characters for some reason. But I don't even know what that means. What even is variance? Maybe like the spread of the value of the cards is higher or something. I keep getting offered Clothesline. Pretty sure I still don't want it. Thank you, Jim. Do I beat the Act 3 boss? Maybe. <laughs> it's plausible. Application potion for something. Oh, probably this. Out there, I think it's 54, blah, 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 blah. 54 months. Uh, I can take armaments plus, and then I can go to another elite fight, I guess. I've been offered my 17th metallicize. I can also take this power potion. Maybe it'll hit. It's not Reptomancer. In turn one. You're welcome, Nogo. Oh shit, I forgot I have the boot. I didn't actually forget I had the boot. How could you forget? Forgetting about the most powerful relic in the game. I must say, the streamer is very noob.
All right. A reward? We did that. Did I take barricade over it? I don't think so. I don't have enough, right? We need more block. We already have a runic pyramid, which is kind of like a barricade. Duplicate it. Just straight up duplicate it, have two. I think so. It got very dark in this room. Weird. Could also duplicate Juggernaut. I think since I have a body slam, I duplicate Field of Pain. Barricade waiting room. I think if this deck ever has excess block, we're very happy. I don't know, maybe it actually gets there now. I guess it's plausible. I have the double feel my pain now. Sometimes you just have to stay alive until you get the good stuff. Can I play Corruption already? I don't know. I don't have Juggernaut in play up. The other fights feel easier than this one, so it's okay if I take some damage here. It's very hard to judge. How much damage do I have? How much block do I have? I have no idea. I have three feel no pain pluses now. Depends if I draw body slams or not. attack. Any juggernauts in my deck?
Okay. I don't play corruption. I worked it out. I just go for a power through second wind. I think. I think so. I just need to not, like, die. I need to not die again. Thank you, they them be. Wow, that's very impressive, Crimson Bale. Full name, by the way. Alright, my deck is doing something. I'll have two potions. Who is it? Time meter. Hmm. I don't think I had to duplication potion that. We will see if I was right or not. Could play corruption already, feels a bit early. On the other hand, what else am I doing? I'll just put at least one field up and play, and then every time I play a skill, it deals 14, and that should be enough. Should be enough.
Actually, I guess the copies of Slimed are helpful. Weirdly. Okay, we're through phase one. It still only has two strength. I get to play Act 4. I could upgrade. I'll probably rest. See how things are looking. The toy ornithopter, blood vial. <laughs> my relics are pretty bad. Uh, yeah, my relics are. Hmm. So it is 11 health. Something better than 11 health? I kind of doubt it. Would I like a metallicize? Isn't that the question? I mean, no. No, I, I don't want that. I think Purity. Purity is an okay block card toward the end of the fight, but it's not very good at the start of the fight. But it's such a good block card at the end of the fight. We get rid of like Bash, Headbutt, Thunderclap or something. Oh, but Second Wind's going to kill it. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna duplication potion juggernaut. Maybe I'm just meant to take more skills. I could see that. Let's do this. It's a deck that can win Act 4. Is it favored? I don't know. That seems ambitious. We got 10 Metallicizes, that would be 30 block every turn. Yep. I guess so. I could have power potioned for like, I don't know, not very much there. This might be duplication potion on burning pact. It feels okay. If I draw into Sentinel, it's good. Not like that, but okay. Uh, it did full block. It did full block. Take those. Yeah, this is meant to be the turn where you don't attack me, actually. I don't know if you're new here, but... Juggernaut, second win. And then we headbutt the second one. 
I guess. Oh, nice. We got pretty good damage. I'm gonna save this. I could play it for 20 damage, but I can play it. Actually, deal zero now. Um. Anyway, the point was I could play it for block this turn instead. Uh, pick one to kill, please. <laughs> I think I take four. I think I kind of have to. And then die next turn. A bit too often. Okay. I put it together. Hopefully it didn't take too long. SDM thanks for the 57 months. Appreciate it. Appreciate the prime. Feel like it's intimidate. I think my one Juggernaut already kills, but Intimidate perhaps keeps me alive long enough for it to do stuff. Do this now. Uh, it's gotta be Corruption, right? I could take a Brutality, it seems tremendously optimistic. Alright. I have Corruption, feel no pain. goes I don't want to like over block here so rage is actually a really good card to play this turn actually rage and metella size because they are basically always blocking for the same amount Does it even keep me alive? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I guess. I'm on three. But I mean, I think that's, I think that's right. I want to save my cards until I have more powers in play. Can I have two Juggernauts in my deck? No, I only have one. I need to actually draw it. I 
Sure haven't been any easy runs tonight. This feels a little lost at the moment. Fourteen, sixteen, twenty, seven. Oh, the shockwave, yeah. Oh, wait. You just guess. So does Feel No Pain go before I take damage? I don't remember. Does it depend on... it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Um... Well, that's really bad for me. Juggernauts in play. I still only have one of yellow pain. The fuck? The fuck? This real life? This actually dies if I end turn. Ah. Uh... I still only have one field up. Game? What the fuck? I still only have one feel no pain? Hello? Hi. Hi. I mean, that just kills me. I, I don't see how I survive that. 2636. I can just end turn here, actually. I guess that's what I do. Do I remember when the deck had zero female fans? Yeah, it felt a lot like this, didn't it? I don't know if I can play Slimed first or not. Actually, I don't know. Uh, probably I just end turn, right? Hmm. Feels like I should put the other feel no pain into play. And also, like, I should have that something. Pommel strike. I guess so. Is still weak. Are you sure this is my rage turn?
I'm a turn short, huh? Maybe armaments is enough on that turn? Oh, but I can't second one. Did I need to rage last turn? Or this turn or something. I needed one more card. I needed to draw a pan at the top of the deck instead of the bottom. I just like that's wild. It's wild. Really brutal. This is a loss, believe it or not. I don't have barricade. I'm out of every skill in my deck. This was always going to be a really close act for my deck. Started with Juggernaut from Whale, random rare, and then I didn't add a ton of attacks. I just tried to kind of focus in on the Juggernaut for damage. Uh, and I went a long, 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 long way through the Spire without finding a Dark Embrace or Feel No Pain. I actually never found a Dark Embrace. But I ended up finding a Feel No Pain Plus and then duplicating it and then getting another one in the next fight. Which is kind of incredible. So then I had three Feel No Pains. And then the Heart Fight, I drew them at the bottom of the deck. So I lost. <laughs> GG! <laughs> oh well. I, I mean, I can't play a card. Beat of Death kills me. It was a good run. Maybe I'm not meant to power push in turn one. I might not be meant to power push in turn one. Maybe if I hadn't played Corruption turn one, I can win that still. It's like hard though, right? Because I, like I would have just died. I don't have enough health. Wanna see how playing slime goes before the beat of death? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Probably just common relic. The one thing I don't like about common relic is sometimes you miss and then you are not ahead. Duh. That's some high rolls though. This is a decent one.
Aww. Okay. Take Yaris. Akabako Yaris. I haven't taken many copies of Flesh Shots recently. Let's take one. I like Flush Shots got hit pretty hard by the discard synergy stuff all getting buffed. There are just far fewer runs where I want it now. Predator? Okay. Dark aside, thanks for 24 months, thanks for the two years. Appreciate it. How far is too far to lean into one Akabeko? I think we can take one riddle. But at this point, it's like, okay, we, we gotta chill out. I should turn the light on. <laughs> it's so dark in here. not playing with controller. There's a controller on my desk and I just put my headphones on it when I left. Uh, I could take a footwork. Sure. Footwork's okay against slime boss. Good against sentries. Hey Baron Corvo. Doing pretty well. That was kind of a bad reshuffle. I have two defends. Oh, and a survivor. That works. Mummified hand. I can take a dodge and roll. Yes, I played for work at the wrong time. Doesn't matter. Acro. Deal the 
last 50 damage here, isn't it? None of the cards in my deck deal damage anymore after I get debuffed. <laughs> I have Blade Dance, Eviscerate, Flechettes. These are not high damage cards with minus two strength. All right, we got there. An Art of War, the Tactician. Okay, just take another acro. I am a big Tactician fan. I could also take all out attack there for slime boss. It's not unreasonable. Or for this fight. Punishing me for having good relics. I have good relics? Where? <laughs> I'm gonna fight hand will probably get there. It's hard. I don't think I prefer blessing to duplication. I prefer to fairy, maybe. I have to decide store versus campfire. I think it's store. Most powers I get offered get bought. And I have to decide whether I go for the elite or not. If I go for the elite, I think I want fairy. all that time thinking about it and then just immediately discard for a fire potion. Strike remove seems very, very, very good. So I don't think I can duplication. Go sneaky strike, fire potion. No. It's fine. These potions are okay, right? How bad could it be? Why 
Why is Noxious Fumes so good? Like here or in general? It's good here because I am fighting Slime Boss and it's good against Slime Boss. I hope I'm fighting a slime boss. Cool. Well, I plan seems pretty good. Horncleat seems pretty good. Lux Potion seems pretty good. I think with, um... With this, I want to take these floors. I think I can fight these, but I might die. Maybe I shouldn't fight them then. What does a relic even do? It doesn't even do anything. I can kill them. There's no way they're the only 10, is there? I would be kind of shocked. If I didn't have Horn Cleat, then yeah, but I do have Horn Cleat. Bob thinks the two months. Is that true? They both decided to attack me. I guess it's true. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got one back. A dodge and roll. It does feel like a dodge and roll kind of run right now. Um, if it's really good, I will just choose not to take four damage, I think. this. <laughs> you hate this. I missed. I should have played Survivor. I should try to get rid of I guess. Good duplication potion. Neutralize. I don't think I love it. Thanks for running 54 months, I appreciate it.
Uh, I mean, I'm holding Blade Dance. Don't kill me! And then we have a variety of other turns where I need it not to kill me. Seems very, very fucking difficult. Have I tried Hellcard multiplayer? I have not. Okay, we got a turn off. That's nice. One attacks for more one day attack. It's just acid slime or spike slime large. Acid slime is 12 or 18. Spike is always 18. So I need to split spike. Which is done now. I already fed you, Zuffer. Zuffer, I fed you already. Good cat. Uh, how do I feel about taking one? Not incredible. Actually, it does matter. I get it at nineteen. Actually, it does matter. <sighs> I'm gonna need this not to attack me next turn. Thanks for that 54 months, dog barker. I'm just dead. Alright. I'm also such a ridiculous high variance fight. I, I can't do anything if every single one of them attacks here. Like, fuck you, game. Oh, he's frustrating me. Slime boss is too powerful. It's an interesting run. It's an Akabako start. I got flushettes and riddle with holes to help with that, and then I tried to build a deck that could actually beat Slime Boss, but didn't get offered very much. Walked into the Slime Boss fight with 20 some health and 2 potions, and now I'm dead. If I got a bit luckier, maybe I can win it. I have 4 fumes in play. But I didn't. GG. Could have used a duplication pot against mushrooms and kept a flex pot for slime mods. I'd have a lot less poison damage being dealt if I'd done that. I 
If I want to not ever die to slime boss there, I should take all out attack. Peace Pipe. I don't think Peace Pipe is an incredible defect relic, unfortunately. Especially into Hexaghost. Yes. Against Hexaghost? I'm just taking darkness. Okay, with that. It doesn't make the deck a whole lot better right now. It probably costs me like 5 HP or something taking that over. I don't know, chaos. Okay. I get another one of those? That could be a thing. Shuffling there. <clears throat> okay, I got a genetic algorithm. We'll take it. The regret is going to make my poke everything except for claw strategy harder to execute. Oh, I think as defect we take orange pellets here, right? I think so. Okay, I need to not die this act. I have scaling, as they say. Battling algorithms, okay. 
Bottling darkness. Let's bottle darkness. It makes compile driver better. It makes darkness better. I would like this to die. Works for me. Stone cool headed. I haven't had many cool headed in defect runs recently, I feel like. Uh that is a good floor. This is a less good floor. Buy a potion. I mean, is that okay? I don't... I, I, I don't know. Frail now, and weak. Still getting hit for 20 a turn. Okay, Charles Lightning. Hologram with darkness and claw. No potions. I'm probably meant to take hologram. And I don't think I get to fight an elite with 31 health. Big difference between 31 and 33 health here. It's important that I stay at high enough health to upgrade darkness for this fight. Even if I do, I might die stall. I think I have to go for the floors with card rewards. Yelta sign. Another one? Okay. The plan is we just hologram darkness plus over and over again. They all have 13 health. Are you kidding? Is this real? Thank you. 
Why did I strike cloud? Certainly a choice. Alright. Didn't die. I guess I can upgrade. I mean, I'm gonna have to. I don't think I win this very often. I bought Orange Palace and didn't see a power of the sack. I'm almost certain that I actually can't take Cold Snap. I think it makes my fight worse. Alright. Important that I dual cast this. Maybe. I work out if I want to defend. I think so. to do cast this as well. Might cost me too much to try to dual cast that. Maybe we just do the thing is I want to play chill next turn. I did this in the wrong order I think. Oh, thanks for the offer, Cherry806. I think I'm going to pass, though. So sometimes I win next turn and sometimes I don't, basically. bosses are getting me right now. We have Dark Orb in front, so the dual cast here is pretty good. So, like, not a great defect act one. I got a Peace Pipe from the Whale, uh, which is not incredible in Act 1 into Hexaghost as defect. And then I bought an Orange Pellets, which, like, I don't know. At the time, I felt like I was doing okay. Um... But then I didn't improve, and I had to bottle an upgraded darkness to try to kill Hexaghost with double hologram, and very nearly did it, but didn't quite. If this card were dual cast, but it's not. GG!
All right, it's fine. We play Watcher again now. Watcher can win, right? I feel like Watcher can probably win. Although the Watcher run today was pretty hard too. Sorry, a hundred and ninety nine dollars. That's pretty obscene. This watcher is sure a character. Probably slaying the spire for 9,000 hours. The slayer has had 9,000 hours to learn how to slay you. Kind of true. There are cards in this game that have been balanced based on how I used them. Tantrum or Wallop? I think Tantrum. I gotta take empty. Does this ever like run into problems with sentries or something? Max HP sentries could actually do something. Okay, we'll play it safe. Bah! Humbug. Looking for some sort of block for Guardian. It's not the best block card in the Watcher card pool, but I'll take it. Sweet. Pick an early ish foresight. I think we take another card that's kind of for the guardian fight, and then we consider our guardian debt paid and move on with our lives, start building for the rest of the game. Kithari thinks the two months.
I fought against these a lot today. I feel like Watcher might be stronger than the other characters. I don't know. I don't, it's hard to say. Who could tell? I think I'm taking Devotion. I guess I can just take 16, actually. I guess it's just completely fine. Ceramic fish. You shouldn't have. Something I don't have is a card remove. Watcher has a girlfriend at home. Where do you suppose home is for Watcher? I wouldn't even know. Does this deck take establishment? Probably. Definite, maybe. something broken. Another wish run. Okay. With wish, I think I want holy water. A pretty sparse act one, really. I have a lot of gold. I have a rush down into tantrum. It's almost like Guardian was designed before Watcher existed. As with the rest of the game.
You could have stopped him, Fjeld. What the hell? Keep a change you want to see in the world, yeah? Pick up here now, we have all plus. Use a flurry of blows. Hmm. This is kind of awkward. Does that help in some way? Wish give more money. I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, this but unironically. I really want to play XCOM. What the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes I just really want to play XCOM. Like a little brain worm. These are good. I don't know. I don't know. I am not sure. I prefer Mental Fortress, but I'm not sure. Wreath of Flame has arrived. Sure has. I guess I'm going to have to find another shop. That one's pretty garbage. You're 99% sure XCOM is the greatest game ever made? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. of expensive. Ah. Alright, can I die this turn? Probably not. Not with that hand. Mental Fortress helps me play Wish. That sounds kind of possible. Playing Wish is a thing I want to believe. Seems better than not playing Wish. Stealthcast is weird with Meditate. I think 
my health going to an elite fight is important enough to just go strength here. Thank you for the 64 months sub. Over 9,000 hours is about 47,668 hours. Sorry, what? That seems... I mean, I guess that's maybe technically true. Wait, no. Is it? I don't know. That's 64 months. Ah. Uh, gotcha. Didn't make my hand better. Weird. Miserable. Possible I use Duplication Potion this turn. Let's see what happens. That should be enough. Is that actually not? Grotesque. Gremlin Horn. Okay. I don't have any potions anymore. Gremlin Horn's very good in both of the elite fights that are left. I guess I go this way and get that elite fight and I get the heal and an upgrade first. And I get to open a chest. That all seems good. Gremlin Horn, useful in this fight. Okay, right, Fire Potion helps crush joints. It's hard to get through. Automaton's artifact charges, I guess. Maybe I still want it. I don't know. I think Conjure Blade with Meditate against Automaton. Hmm. I think probably like Wish for Strength is probably enough. Probably meant to be enough.
wealth. Well, if I draw in this order, Gremlin Horn isn't good in this fight because it's like I drew all of my good cards at the same time. By which I mean <laughs> after after drawing all the rest of my deck. It's kind of cute. That was fun, yeah. Bo, uh, a turnip and a devotion. Very into card remove. Immensely into card remove. Um, it would be really nice to spend gold. I think it might be a bit too dangerous to go right. May I upgrade instead? Empty mind, maybe? Could even be perseverance or wish for this fight. This run loses from here fairly often, I think. I sure just die on turn one if I go here a decent amount of the time. Oh wait, let's not die on turn one. The part where Watcher is doing nothing for two turns before killing everything. It's not actually desirable or mandatory. Watcher can also just kill everything. That's more ideal. Okay. Can I have a real thing? Maybe? One real thing. Mushroom and turnip underpraised for their work. Look, they're doing great. They're doing their best.
Why is it attacking for seven times two? Oh, because of mushroom. Of course. Fasting? I think it's fasting to get through this fight. Don't love it. Fasting is the opposite of something. Yeah. yeah, you're not wrong. I just want to play Tantrum lots of times. Not what I wanted. I probably did something wrong. Okay. Excellent to draw vigilance here. I don't wish. I think wish is a bit too much. Just doing something like, well, let's do this first. Okay. Not attacking next turn. I think I made it to act three. A lesson learned. I think I'm down. Pyramid. Okay. It's my second watch your pyramid run in a row. The last one was really hard to win. This one. Alright, this is a good Act 3 path at least. Random stream of symbols. Attack. 
attacking. That's kind of rude. Without doing the math or anything, I feel like this should be okay. I have successfully defeated a spiker. Spiker's no joke. I will take a wallop plus, I think. a bit fast for me to Ouch. I wish Spiker puts the other shapes to shame I mean against the watcher sure sure I had some grand ideas about maybe playing Wish that turn. I think if I was going to, I messed it up. I will take a crescendo. We only have 68 max HP. That is a thing to look into. Click on this. Flurry, flurry. Flurry. I think I want two. I don't know if I want three. I might take a halt. I don't really have enough block yet. Just lucky with casting is okay. Doesn't really do much though. Protect plus. I guess I didn't. Park the hand would be pretty sweet. That'll help these flurries make sense. You could buy a wave of the hand for more block. It's just like. Ooh, I don't have anything to help with turn one at all. Maybe a wave of the hand helps with turn one. Maybe. I think I'll wait until later. How bloodthirsty is Spire today? Spire's been pretty harsh. Lesson learned.
Uh, I don't know if Fear No Evil is like aggregate good. I think at the moment it isn't. That seems like a large problem for the deck. Maybe we just assume that we get to a point where Fear No Evil is good, because otherwise we lose? Nah, I'm not going to take another. I want to uh, draw my Mental Fortress on my Rushdown. Uh, cool fight. Sorry, how much are they attacking me for? 46 on turn one. Okay. Okay, that's 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 allowed, I guess. State is the Spiron, Disrepair. It would be really cool to get better at playing turn one somehow. Feels like it shouldn't be impossible. Oh, I should I almost forgot. Your no evil is back again. I'll take a third eye plus. I'll take a third eye plus. Alright, heal a bit, heal a bit more. Have I ever been to the real life spire in Ohio? Don't think so. If I check it out, what's it like? Maybe right not to play interface. With this hand, it doesn't matter. If I go to the spire, am I not afraid I might accidentally try to slay it? Isn't that what it's for? What else would you do with it? Not sure I understand. I haven't done the math on whether I can just color up demands there. Oh. Oh shit. Whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> I did not think it would be that close to just killing it outright. Uh, wow. Have our Deva form? I only have one rush down. There's a whole turn one thing that's still a problem. Uh, 
does kind of feel like it would be okay though. Defensive potions maybe? Find some. Been playing XCOM lately and it's so much fun. Fuck. Stop it. Stop making me want to play XCOM. What's better at making my turn one better? Question mark, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I have Wish and Lesson Learned, so I guess we go Hallway Fight. Twitch chat. How dare. Have empty mind and fly, or mental fortress rather. I thought I did. Gotta be an XCOM mod to slay the spire. I haven't seen it, but it does sound plausible. Could be an Act One boss. I think it would win a lot of those fights against Act One ducks. The Maw is powerful. How about an Evaluate? Probably not. Okay, Pushing Belt. Okay, that helps. Applied fasting first. I play Wish. I don't remember. I did not play Mental Fortress. I did not play Deva Form. I didn't draw a lesson learned yet. Defend plus. Love it. Love a defend plus. 
who doesn't love a defend plus? Defend plus actually kind of like, I mean, that does help play, uh, not die on turn one. Do I have the boot? No. Bolt plus helps a bit. Plus two max HP helps a bit. I don't need like a lot. I just need a bit of help. Conqueror. I want indignation. Probably. Would be my first vulnerable. I do have a wallop in my deck. Pophiosis. Uh, I've been playing Lesson Learned every fight. I probably don't buy that. Shop seems like I buy Waffle. And this potion, maybe. And I have enough gold for something next act. And if it's just strike remove, that's okay. You're designing an oven and just baked a loaf of bread in your proof of concept mode. Like in real life? A real life oven? Or like in Minecraft or something? Bread kind of sucks, but in the way you expected. Sounds like real life, then. That's pretty cool. I should design an oven. Competitive oven designing. Doesn't pair strictly better. Well, it costs 150 gold more, so you would certainly hope it would be. Cook bread in Minecraft? Sure you can. Well, that's a bad hand. Should be harder than this one, too.
Y'all need to play better Minecraft mods. That's what I've learned. Oh, Dave Farms up here, too. Nice. Pretty sure you can cook toast and feed the beast. Feed the beast. Infinity. Evolve. That's basically the only Minecraft mod that I have played. My overlay is somehow off by some pixels compared to how it usually is. Luck. Not my problem. <laughs> I mean, I guess in theory my problem, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. I'm sorry to hear it. Apparently playing the one chunk challenge in Minecraft, you have to unlock every chunk to move into it. I do not know what that means. What does that mean? Sounds like it could be fun. Minecraft world is generated in chunks, yes. How do you unlock a chunk? You have to meet a criteria to open a chunk. Cool. That sounds fun. Do you think I would meet the criteria? Don't know who's playing Jorbs or Mini Jorbs. Sometimes I'm not sure either. One chunk might take three dirt blocks to unlock. I'd probably play hardcore and get killed by a creeper. Yes, and It's not time eater. But Donudaka seem to be obliterating me, regardless. Uh, I'd rather not die this turn. Okay. Do I just go for? I think I just take gold. <laughs> I'm I'm very close to dying here, but also I don't think I'm going to. A lot of potions. Mm. Yeah, maybe I end up using a potion this turn because. I don't have a way out of Wrath right now without Liquid Memories. Oh, now I do.
next turn becomes kind of scary though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna liquid memories. It's kind of a good potion. Ooh, it's kind of the best potion I have. Is there something else? I guess if I got to... I can go Empty Fist Eruption Wallop. And I would see nine cards next turn. And this turn I would take zero-ish. This is scary. I don't know if I like this. I think I'm just gonna look at memories, meditate. That seems needlessly terrifying. Alright, let's get just wallop and fear no eagle. Probably I would have been fine. Where does the singer? Sound terrifying. I can't wait to try you on. Very silence of the lambs. I feel like that's generous. three potions. I don't think any of them are good, though. I think the only good potion I had was Liquid Memories, and I just used it. But I got my Wish for Gold. I got my Lessons Learned. An upgrade of Vigilance. Seems good. I can bottle Mental Fortress. I can duplicate Mental Fortress. Probably I duplicate it. You know... I could go smoke bomb here. Just a second, I'm gonna run to the bathroom.
Oi. I don't think this shop is that tricky. We just take Mental Fortress. It gives us Ceramic Fish Gold, right? So I could buy Sash Whip and Smoke Bomb. Fire potion is just better than smoke bomb. Feels like if I kill one of them, we're probably good. Ah. Don't get through artifact charge as well. So this is pretty bad against the elites. Hmm. Maybe this and this? Iki Hawkman! It's 49 months to count. It's 9,000 hours. I guess so. Oh. As long as you were watching the channel 24-7 uh, throughout them. I assume you have been. Just do this. Don't totally love it. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna take all that damage. I don't see what else there is to do. Now, we have to kill that this turn, I guess, because otherwise I'm just taking another 40. Kind of unreal. Can I kill it this turn? Smoke bomb would have been better here. I gotta go rush down. Forty-eight was forty-eight, thirty-four. The good news is my deck is eventually pretty good. Just not on turn one. But the heart doesn't even attack you turn one. We're probably fine. I made horn cleat necessary? Huh? I didn't take damage on turn two. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Talk to the hands of Conjure Blight isn't it. We just take two more health.
A. I don't have liquid memories anymore. So I have to draw on some more help. Ashwood would be kind of sweet here. Yo, mental fortress. Hello. I didn't think I was being unreasonable, thinking that you might show up sometimes. I think I want Flurry in my hand, yeah? Hey, Jim! These are still not mental fortunes. Okay. How many other cards? Bolt. It's last thing on my hand. I get attacked for 60 next turn. Double mental fortress. Tantrum, Fear No Evil, Empty Mind, with Halt, Halt Blocks for and 6, I don't know if I need to keep a Defend. Or I just keep both. like I would rather not. Do I have enough? Like four. Seven block. Five block. Three, one. Minus one block. I got a three. I start with mental fortress. I'm at one. Three energy, and I play Tantrum, which is ten block. Fear no evil, no Tantrum, which is ten block. Bolt, which is thirty-six block. Fear no evil, forty-six. Empty mind, fifty-six. Not one.
just down somewhere. So. I have four energy next turn. Get more block with flurry. For fam. Start next turn with Fortress, Sandrum, Bolt. Oh, I'll have another Tantrum. So I can go Fear No Evil, Tantrum. Or Empty Mind, Tantrum, Fear No Evil. So I don't think I need to defend them. I hope that was right. I'd rather not have to burn. Good. Oh, so incredibly not right now, cat. Right, it's not even 460. In that case, maybe I tantrum now to take a zero. I have one more energy than I thought. Did I art up for last turn? Weird. Um. Shuffles. Do I want that? I don't think I do. I want Tantrum. Lasting Holt. Mental Fortress. Fear no evil. Tantrum. Can play these now. Do I third eye first to make sure I'm not drawing trash cards? Probably. Those ones are okay. Get rid of that. This. All right, I think I won. Looking a wild. So if I played Indignation first, I wouldn't get the thing. I only have four energy. Does Void kill me? I think I'd still have Tantrum, Alt, Empty, Meditate there. I would rather not draw Void though, so I'm going to lead with Tantrum because it reduces my chance to draw Void by one. By one card. Okay. Uh, now it shouldn't really matter because I have enough. Do I get attacked again? Interesting question. I 
have two HP to spare. I mean, maybe. I'm going to yell 184. You thought I'd wish for gold here? Maybe I should have. Watch your run. Turn one never got good. Relics just don't help with turn one at all. But we got all the deck upgraded with Lesson Learned, and I took some cards to try to help. I took a very late third eye. Finally found a second Mental Fortress. My scaling is also not incredible. Prior to finding a second Mental Fortress, I like had Fasting that was trying to do some stuff, one rush down, and then I took a Devo form so I could play my so-so cards more often. But we just barely made it, so GG. Old Jorbs would wish for gold. Why disrespect heart and not end up on one HP? Well, the Beat of Death was 3 there, and I was at 3, which made it kind of hard to take 2 damage. Very similar watch around to the previous watch around I had, actually. That was also a bad act one into a very slow pyramid deck. Next run will be an easy one. That would be nice. Force a strength iron clad run. I can. Will I? Nope. Who's excited for the Super Bowl tomorrow? I'm gonna go to a party. Watch some football with some friends. I'm moderately excited. Sound moderately excited? Yeah, I wouldn't go further than that. You hope I have a good time? I hope it's okay.
You hope both teams lose. Do you think Travis Kelsey will propose after the game? I feel like Taylor Swift would fucking hate that. I feel like the one thing that I know about Taylor Swift's private life is that she enjoys it being private. I mean, maybe he'll privately propose to her after the game, I guess. I don't know. I have no investment in this, really. I haven't heard anything about the halftime show. Ye olde common relic start? Hmm. Not sure I got anything. I don't know, pickle hound. I didn't draw strike, 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 slime that turn. Oh, I did this turn. Flex <laughs> potion's good, hemo's good. Alright. We got a good feeling about this one. I think this has to buff, right? And this dies to double strike. Oh my god, there were five of them. Sword Boomerang with Flex Potion.
I would prefer not to take a twin strike. I think if I want to fight four elites, I'm going to take it though. Stop weakening me. Stop it. No, no more weak. I hate being weak. Pommel Strike is actually a good card. Weak Potion and Dex Potion are semi similar. Uh. Next potion's better against Lago Villain. Or better against sentries, rather. Well, you're not having my flex potion or hemokinesis, so I guess you can have 116 gold. God, give it back. Give back my gold. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad event. Return my gold. <laughs> Unreal. Do we want curses? No. I would like to play Watcher. I probably take like another thirty damage or something. Unreal. Hopefully I don't just die. That would be upsetting. Okay, if I end this on like 29, that's not bad at all. Not awful. Singing Bowl Armaments? Guardian Act, yeah. Arrest. I would kind of like to curl up in a ball and cry right now. <laughs> Why can't you just, like, give me good cards and relics, game? Game! Game, please. All right, Hemokinesis. I believe, oh my God. I guess my armaments was wrong. Probably if I spend like a long time thinking about that, I go with a different armaments upgrade. All right, we just have to not die to Guardian. Sounds so easy, and yet. Maybe it's perfected strike. Like, my relics don't do anything, and I don't have a block card, and I don't have a potion.
kind of messed up. Five, six, seven, twenty. Could also be clothesline. It's a clothesline, it's slightly less miserable. Ooh, I'm dead. Strike would be better. Save me 2 HP. Gotta take Amolites. Bank. It's not playable against Guardian though. So, do I have to take it? I don't know. I can Elixir it versus Guardian. This is bad. This is bad. I'm rich. Okay, another armaments. Program thinks it's 25 months. You would have thought at the start of the fight that MLA would be a good card in this fight, huh? Oh well. Dex Potion. That's actually pretty good against Guardian. I might have to take Demon Form. I might actually need to take Demon Form. Holy shit. Act 2 is going to be fucking lethal. This run wants a Sneko Eye, I think. Beardsley, thanks to the Prime! Appreciate it. I feel like making it to Act 2 is an achievement with this deck. Also, I have 737 gold. I'm gonna take Feed. And Pyramid. And then I'm going to die with Pyramid, I think. Oh, <laughs> you got shops, but they go straight into elite fights. All right, well, at least I can buy four potions.
You think three smoke bombs incoming? Okay, okay, maybe. It really feels like Immolate would be better if you drew it. Right? Sure does not seem very important that this bugger is getting away with my gold. Hexstar Dragon, thanks for the 43 months. This is a really bad fight for bad ducks. Which this is. There's no waffle. Very difficult. Missed hand drill for avocado. You aren't wrong. Not enough. No way. Well, I guess I did that wrong. No attack. No attack. No attack. Uh... I'm up frail next turn. It's it's close, but I think I'm gonna play this.
Okay, I'm at 14. Oh, a potion would have been nice. Oh, that's not good. Have to kill it next turn, I think. No. 29 plus 20. Oh, it is enough. Second wind. I don't have many skills, really. Second wind are like plus two max. Here we go. Plus two max. It has to be Gremlin Leader, I guess. Oh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> okay. Okay. So there is actually a chance here. What happens if I get attacked next turn? Big number. Uh, attack potion for fiend fire feels like a thing. Attack potion for whirlwind. Attack potion for immolate. Attack potion for cleave. Maybe. Attack potion for something, it's just I have to clear hand space. It just attacks me for 11 times 3, and I block for 18. I'm actually alive. I'm actually alive there. Okay. Let's... Take a look. It is an attack. It's twelve times three. Seriously? Real life. That's unreal. This was an unreal bad act one as Ironclad. Started with Hemo and Sword Boomerang, which you'd think would be good. But then Twin Strike got added to try to get through Elites. And as I went through Elites, I added Mob Bank, Darkstone, Periapt, Singing Bowl, Potion Belt, and Old Coin to my deck. Which you may note, like none of these do anything. <laughs> none, none of those make my deck stronger in any way. I uh, had to take a demon form to get through Guardian, which just barely worked. 
And then I got a Runic Pyramid and a Feed uh, with sort of the expectation that I might die. At 737 gold, I went into that shop. The shops all terminate in forced elites, unfortunately, in this act. Uh, and the shop wasn't enough. Very, 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 very close. I came down to like 2 HP here, actually. Oh well. GG. Was Pyramid the wrong choice? Let me tell you something. Runic Pyramid was not the problem with this run. I mean, I didn't even... there weren't other boss relics, right? Calling Bell or Sacred Bar? There... no. There's... <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, you take Renek Pyramid there. Wasn't two armaments plus defend enough to survive? It was not. Not a huge fan of these. What is the boss? Guardian. Got a brutal. Got an elite, I think. Aspirations in this run are 
probably to get a relic that does something. Not super picky here. Neutralize on a turn, I'm getting attacked. I don't know. Sixteen, was it a thirteen, four, four? Sometime. Deal. This. Three, three. Wait, no. Guess I do this. Okay, not too bad. Maybe it's a relic. Taking deadly poison for guardian here is not unfathomable. I don't have a potion either. Dance instead of blade dance instead of deadly poison saved me four health there or something six health I don't know those are much better cards than the cards I put in my deck but I think it's a bit late. I'll take a dagger throw still. You know what? Our Calcum is something. <laughs> Somehow it's okay. Really use a potion? This potion. Is it Bane time? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I can go right now. Maybe it's Bane time. You could just leg sweep. Like sweep, go to the shop. Like card remove again. Maybe it's okay. Oh. 
and a job. Cover. Concerning to me that I'm considering a bandage up here, but I think it might be okay. Let's just remove a strike. Can I pandas? <laughs> yeah. And it up seems better with Pandora's or Pyramid. There is also simply calculated gamble. It's remarkable how many cards there are that are better than these. I just want to get rid of a strike. Arcalcum make advantage up meaningfully better here. Probably. I have a copy of Acrobatics. Can win. Dagger spray over second all at attack. Better card. Two all out attacks just have anti synergy. Dagger spray is just a better card than all out attack. So I just took the one that is better. Deadly Poison wins the fight. Go Deadly Poison, go. Deadly Poison? Hello? I'm out here singing your praises, and where are you? of discarding a random card not being great. Hitting things twice is kind of good. Adrenaline. That is a good card. If I'm transforming three, I wonder how many strike sources defense it should be with Arakalcum as my only relic. Doesn't much feel like I'm elite hunting. I 
Finisher plus Leg Sweep plus Predator plus. Second Relic Snack Go Eye. I don't know if any of them other than Finisher are good, but Finisher's okay. Alright, finisher. Show me what you can do. Wait, finisher? Hello? I assumed that it would, like, get drawn with play dense every time and then kill everything. Maybe that was optimistic in retrospect. This fight could use a scaling rat that makes you vulnerable when it dies. I think every fight should have one of those. And also most like housing in real life. It's never making me frail again. It just hasn't done that a single time. Very kind of it. Uh, I'm gonna take another acro. I have to find some energy. That's not it. I don't think I'm buying Ghost in a Jar. Okay. Arc Alchem Apparitions is kind of a thing. What were the relics in that shop? Orange pellets, bag of prep. They were pretty good, weren't they? That's funny. I have not had apparitions for a while. I have not been going to as many Act 2 events. I haven't been going to as many events in general. To see, like, the stuff you get out of hallway fights is just so good. It's just. It's just you just, you just got such great things from Hallway. Why would you ever go to an event? What would be the point when you can get that from a Hallway fight? See what I'm saying? Interesting.
Scrap him, bear. I'm looking forward to drawing finisher next turn with no other cards. Oh, nice. Bear, no. Whose team are you on? We can't have people on the Spires team today. Other days, sure. Not today. I'll take a Tactician. That makes my deck meaningfully better. Uh... Maybe time to take some damage. Death, most emotional moment in Slave Aspire. That's rough. I hope you're okay. This is maybe not the right way to play the fight. It's the way I picked. Hmm. It is pretty bad if I don't get attacked this turn. Arakalkum circling is a relic that does literally anything, yeah. Big fan. Thank you, Arakalkum. We can do it. Big believer. Had and got attacked! I've been getting so brutally murdered by Gremlin Leader AI for the last, like, three days. Last week, maybe? There was that Defectron that died. There was a Defectron last run that died. Uh, we will absolutely take a Piercing Whale with our Letter Opener, another Relic that does something. It's all over. I'm calling it. Yeah, the run's actually done. We won. Congratulations, everybody. Like, how can we lose now? I don't know. Need a corpse explosion. Would that I were that lucky. Maybe it is second relic, Sneko. Look at how good my deck is when all the cards cost zero. I mean, are randomized between zero and three. Like a reflex or not?
think I will. Piercing well, I have another apparition. Somewhere in here there is a well light lands. This is an awkward death. Okay. 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 Instead of dying, we took zero. Love that for us. It's eviscerate time now. Getting kind of close. It may well be anchor. Ooh. I. I mean, I guess I pick up Riddle Flow. I'm not sure it does anything. I could remove this drive. Rive is less painful with anchor. Okay. Art of War. Okay. Where is Darkstone parry up from last run? Well, I think we died, so I think it I think it's gone. save the apparition. Maybe better to just save the all out attack. this wild it might be wild the late plans op it is a pretty good card it's like a runic pyramid if runic pyramid had to be drawn and cost energy and only retained one card by which i mean it's very good Discard. Bit of luck. We 
Darkstone, Periumph, and Juzu Bracelet have synergy. They both remove relics from the pool, making the remaining relic pool better. If that isn't synergistic, I don't know what is. Oh. Okay. Oh, order. I guess it would still be on the one anyway. A deflect. Probably not. But maybe. Seems okay, actually. Okay. <laughs> Not entirely sure what the plan is for the part of the collector fight where I get attacked. I kind of want the setup. I think I would take a setup plus in this deck. <laughs> My scaling is still one deadly poison. Simply don't get attacked. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe an artifact potion could bail me out. There are probably some relics in the game. think maybe one of them can do something. They're really good cards. I think I'm taking prepared plus with letter opener. I think without Letter of Nerd's Corpse Explosion. I'm more than thanks for the 60 months. Appreciate it. I want to be able to discard these apparitions. I want to lean into Letter of Nerd and Deadly Poison.
No. No. Okay, that was the wrong. That makes it harder. That was exciting. You got as good at me at random discards. You want your collector fights to look like this? <laughs> I think I can work that out for you. Be good to have dexterity. Or two more operations, maybe. to not um, play an attack here. So I have five energy up. The plan is just, this is really good. That's the entire plan. It was pretty good. It, it was better than I thought it was going to be.
We'll attack this turn. Next turn, though. Oof, next turn looks bad. Okay, Piercing Whale exists. So I need to Piercing Whale next turn. You just hold Piercing Whale Tactician. Notably, still not done. I'm notably still not blocking for enough. So this has to draw into more block. Redraw. Nah, I'd better kill it. Is it just dead this turn? Holy shit. That is absurd. That is one of the best stack oils I've ever had. Oh wait. The stack had no right to win that fight after turn one. Absolutely none. I think it's nightmare, nightmare for operations. I don't know, Molly's is okay. Pretty sure it's not a thousand cuts. This isn't good. I guess it's Sozu? Oof. Really kind of feels like some potions would be good here. I don't know, is it Runic Dome? Maybe it's Runic Dome. Let's go Runic Dome. I don't think I can take Sozu. Time Eater first. Fucking brutal. Terrible. Awful. Let go here. Nightmare and I'll be fine. Second Nightmare wouldn't hurt. Don't know if we can really expect the second Nightmare. Backful plus I take. You missed the 9k moment. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it happened at some point in this stream. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. Been streaming for seven hours? Yeah, feels like it happened a while ago. Is there some way to deal damage to them? I think. Sounds right. Twenty one again. I don't think I'm twenty one anymore. Nightmare footwork? Nightmare footwork's a thing. Shall I continue to believe in noxious seams? I think I will. You know what? I think I will. Come on! Holy shit. That was- wait. <laughs> I feel so dirty. That was a good floor. I just got a good floor. Like, I'm stronger than I was before that floor right now. Kind of hard to understand. Do I want to just high roll Sensory Stone Apotheosis? Maybe I do. Wait, this takes mind, st uh, mind Bloom upgrades. Right? This takes Mind Bloom upgrades. Alright, question marks. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Sometimes rewarded. It does kind of feel like it would be good to know if I was being attacked or not. I to take cards now that all of my cards are upgraded. I am not 100% sure how I deal damage. 
like maybe I want poison stab. I don't think I'm taking it though. I think the deck's better now. Mm hmm. It certainly is. Whale. Whale's interesting because I don't know if I'm being attacked or not. I think I take it for time eater though. Is a finisher just storm? No. It is not. It's the threat level midnight. I appreciate it. Convincing legal argument that finisher is storm. This sounds untrue. Take after image. After image seems good against time eater. You have a mark of the bloom before sundial. Stops me from healing. But it upgraded all of my cards, so worth. After image actually key for fighting against the spikers, it turns out. Think so? I think so. All right, not sure what Nemesis is doing. 
It's an attack for 21 a lot of the time. I blocked that much. I think maybe I was meant to play two apparitions, yeah. Now I might be getting attacked for 33. I would just be immediately dead because my hand doesn't have a card in it. Sure hope I'm not. I did have Aura Calcum, I would have been okay. Um, not sure what we're doing this turn. Not sure what's happening this turn. One attack played. So we can do better. Okay. I'm going to hold Blade Dance Finisher. This is super with regen. It is. That's why it has regeneration. Your screen must be very small. Um. Ooh. Okay. Probably kills it then. Sweet. I don't think Strike Dummy is great here. I don't think I can take a Blade Dance into Time Eater. Or the Heart, to be honest. I don't really know how I deal damage to anything. I think our deck got good enough to beat Act 3 Hallway Fights, but not actually good. What if it's Grand Finale? Nightmare Grand Finale? If I need damage, it's not a bad option, actually. We'll see. I only have one well laid plans. This looks very bad. <laughs> Unlucky. No. 
So weird. The only catalyst was still uncommon. Not sure how much of a difference that would make. Alright, let's look at what Time Eater does. I feel obligated to win this run because I got so lucky to get this far. I'm not sure I can promise anything though. Twenty, forty-five, thirty-five between Ripple Reverberate and Head Slam. So the most it can be attacking for here is thirty-two. Kind of a lot. Wish I knew whether it was or not. Possible for it to do pretty much anything, including attack for 32. Okay, now it can't ripple anymore, right? So now it's either attacking for 32 or buffing. You really want to play against those in very different ways. the debuff. So now it's attacking for 32, but I'm vulnerable and it's weak and it has two strength. Or it's attacking for 30, but I'm vulnerable and it's weak and it has two strength. Feels confusing. Don't think I have the operation though. enough. Right? God, I hope so. I was wrong. Ship. I uh, can't use that twice in a row, so now it's either an attack for 21 or buffs again. Put one card next time. Ah, uh, let's use this. It should be okay. I think I might go with my first apparition now. How 
much would it be? 27. The multi attack is still not the biggest attack. I can skip phase two. Need to be a bit lucky. I don't think I need to. feel like it would have been possible. We have Grand Finale in hand here. Be close. Let's the backstab. I don't think I need that one. Alright. Now we're back to regular stuff. That blocks everything. Operation, maybe. As long as I blocked for enough, which I am pretty sure I did, it dies. Okay. Uh, fight number two. Playing grand finale would have been wrong there. I would have not stacked up Sundial. It was a more important thing to do. This is just apparitions, and if I can spam cards, I'll be okay. Sure as hell hope so. Alright, this is the small attack. Although it's not weak, and it has 8 strength. 
So. But still, it's only... how much... It's only... 28. Yeah. Goes up to 30 when I play this. So the multi-attack here is 48, and the single attack is 30s, assuming that it's weakened. Turns where I don't know if it's multi-attacking or not are the hard ones. Alright, this is always for 30. but at worst it's 48. Always 48, I think. That's how it works. It's always 30. Oh, well, this doesn't block for now. Fuck. Oh, okay. Alright, it's fine. Now we don't know. And my hands are about. I could split it, but if I did, I wouldn't get piercing while, right? Yeah, I think I just have to operation. Phase two. It's for 40, 18, or 30. It's kind of a widespread. I think it can do... Oh, it always does that, actually. Oh, okay, now it hits for 18 or 30, but it's weakened. So actually, 21, not 30. Seems fine.
Okay. I want Sundial on a better number. with the heart. It works the other way with the heart. Do not do the piercing whale trick against the heart. Um, Alright. Some dials on the right number. We got to play. Act 4. That's something. Thanks, Mecha Moari. Oh man. I don't have a dream catcher, do I? Wait. Reform? Wraithform Spoon, I guess. Not sure what's happening this turn, but there's not much reason not to piercing whale that I can think of. If I have piercing whale, the most I'm being attacked for is less than what I'm blocking for. Seems good. Oh nice. We got it back again. We did get attacked, so this is only. For 40. Well, Apparition seems like it deals with that. Gone now. Uh, sometimes the spear is attacking. Fifty percent of the time it is attacking me for eighteen. Uh chat. What's my what's my plan against that? Don't have one. Hit adrenaline or something. Hit apparition. That one got spooned as well. Didn't get attacked. So now the back sphere is always attacking me this turn. And then next turn is doing us multi attack. The shield is using. Attack for 14 or a team block. I don't think I can make Grand Finale work here. Oh, Swift Potion does it actually. I could try to end the fight next turn. But oh, hold on. 
I'm always getting two burns, right? So no, actually can't do that. But Acro could do it. I draw it. No. Uh Nightmare Grand Finale into Swift Potion next turn wins. So the question is, do I even want that? I don't even think I want that. I think it's better to save the Swift Potion, and I think I can. Came back. I don't know if this is attacking me or not. If it was, it would be for 21 after a turn. I don't have to turn, right? Because this isn't attacking me for anything anymore. So I could stay facing this way. I'm gonna turn though. Oh shit, I should stop playing Blade Dance. <laughs> I should probably stop playing Blade Dance. Alright, that did attack me. Which means it isn't attacking me this turn. This turn is this one's big attack. Which is now for zero. Now this always big attacks. This sometimes is attacking me small. We just apparition. <laughs> Spoon, you have to stop. Um, did attack a small. That means it doesn't attack this turn. I'm pretty sure. Sure to be ashamed to be wrong. I'm pretty I I am I am almost certain. You know what? It doesn't even really matter that much because I'm happy to play these cards anyway. Okay, they all exhausted. Look at that. This one dies. This one doesn't attack. Now it does its multi-attack, but I reform it. Let's put a stack on Sunday. I made it to the heart fight. Unreal. Fill up both potions. Pantograph. Mini K. Caltrops for damage. I don't hate Caltrops for damage. Feels 6 damage per turn, is that right? No, 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 no. More than that. 16 damage per turn. That's pretty good. Okay. Saved my adrenaline. The problem here is I don't have well laid plans. I 
I've drawn all three apparitions. I guess I play them all? What else am I gonna do? I could play one more act row. But, like, I don't have an apparition left in my deck at that point. It's like I play them all and I hope that they don't exhaust. I have one. Well, there's Wraith Form. Four later. I can Nightmare it too. Question is if I Nightmare it, how good am I at actually making block? I don't have the ability to do that with After Image. It's kind of a moot question. I, I just have to Nightmare it. I wish I had Pocket Watch or something. Very slow to draw here. Can I do this and hold? Looks like I have to hold Reflex. It's like pretty likely that I die to being one energy short here, which is brutal. This draws four. I guess we have to just draw four and hope. Okay. Nightmare Exhausted, unlucky. What do I block next turn? See what I draw. I don't think I have enough damage here, is my hunch. We'll see, we can play it out. You just hold one Wraith Form. So unlucky.
Am I holding Wraith Farm? I'm holding Grand Finale? holding grand finale and I want to use the apparition on turn one of the next set of attacks and then I might be able to use a piercing whale on the one after that so here I'm okay with just oh it's terrible though no I'm not good with that at all Oh yeah, I guess I don't get Grand Finale. We go... Acro... And we... Deadly Poison, Eviscerate Predator. And hold... Like Apparition Leg Sleep. Sarah thinks of the 31 months. So this is the thing that I was saying I wanted, where if I get a single attack first, I can your sanguine instead of wraith forming. I did say I wanted that. Also, no exhaust on that, that's huge. So I'm going to hold a Piercing Whale. I don't know what else. Maybe Leg Sweep. I can't play Blade Dance. All right, we get to go Leg Sweep Piercing Whale here, or even Defend Piercing Whale. I think the Beat of Death is for too much for that to be better than Leg Sweep with Deadly Poison in hand. Adrenaline didn't exhaust. I wonder if that's actually good. <laughs> At this point. I might want that to exhaust now. Uh, dodge and roll is pretty good to play. Gives me some block at the start of next turn. Next <laughs> out, didn't exhaust again. attack this turn. We probably have to hold Ooh. I want to say we should hold Wraith Form Survivor, but it feels a bit slow. Play a survivor here. No, I think holding a Wraith Form survivor makes sense.
I holding? Okay, play survivor. And defend. And hold. Predator leg sweep or something? Leg sweep's only blocking for nine next turn. So if this isn't a multi-attack, I kind of end up having to block potion next turn, which is fine. It's actually fine. Can I kill it fast enough? I wonder if I can kill it fast enough. Ooh, if this isn't the multi-attack, I think I have to hit Piercing Whale, actually, and save the block potion for the next one. I think so. There's no reason to play Apparition, is there? Or hold Apparition, rather. Just hold Wraith Form later. I prefer multi-attack. Nice. Okay. Uh, that means I have Block Potion for the next multi-attack. Oh, but I don't know which turn it is. <laughs> well, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can be fast enough that Maybe we can be fast enough that it's okay. Either way. That would be the dream, I guess. Minus two ducks per turn. <sighs> Feels like I need to start next turn by playing Wraith Form, probably. If it's multi attack first. I need leg sleep? I block from leg sleep? No. I guess I block potion first, and if it's leg sleep, if it's multi attack first, I win. And if it's multi attack second, it comes down to how much damage I have. And I might have enough. Yeah, I might have enough. I probably do. So leg sleep, deadly poison, like dagger throw or something. Is dagger throw to burn? Tell me. Five block, three block. One block burn hits me for one, putting me at three, and I die. Okay. Okay. So maybe not dagger throw them. But I just don't do anything right now. That feels wrong. It's just how do I have wreath form next turn? At minus seven block. <laughs> I could not discard reflex, I guess. Fuck. Uh, so close. I go like sweep dagger th throw. And that way if I draw burn I don't play deadly poison. Uh, 
I hold Deadly Poison Adrenaline. Deadly Poison's not more damage than Blade Dance at that point, is it? Blade Dance is my most damage. But I want Blade Dance with Finisher. Hmm. Oh, maybe I just try to draw Blade Dance and Finisher now. Okay. Plus 10 strength. a wild run. Alright, what happened this run? What all happened? Uh, first off, I almost died to Guardian, but Deadly Poison managed to get me through Guardian somehow. I got uh, a Matryoshka and an Aurichalcum as my relics in Act 1. So not a lot of Act 1 stuff going on. And I transformed into some stuff, like my deck was okay, but not great going through Act 2. I should, by all rights, have died to Collector, but a Sneckle Oil gave me a zero-cost Leg Sweep and a zero-cost Predator. Uh, I was so dead. <laughs> I was so dead. And Sneckle Oil bailed me out. And I went through Act 3, I was like, wait a second, if I get Question Mark and Mind Bloom for Upgrade All here, I can actually maybe win. First Question Mark, Upgrade All from Mind Bloom. Uh, I'm actually alive for one more turn here. Had to take Runic Dome as well. Water Run. Water Run. Water run. <laughs> it's kind of dirty that I won that. Mixio, thanks to 31 months. Appreciate it. Should have died to every boss. No. No, I don't think so. 